But having a think about sports, and especially sports in the UK, uh, football is one of the main ones, or soccer as it's known throughout the world, it's a really funny thing about it. I know you could say this about a lot of sports, to be fair, but for some reason, a lot of football fans in this country they can be quite serious people with like, you know, quite, you know, good personalities and like mild mannered and all that. But when they go for watch a football match, they go crazy. And if the team, even if the team wins, they sometimes start fights. And especially if the team loses, they'll like just be depressed all weekend and never understood that really. There was a pretty butterfly on the floor then. Uh, one reason why I uh, can't get into football is probably the main thing that puts me off on not just football but sport. But again, using football as an example, like where I am now, there's three main football teams and you can't like all of them like I do. You have to pick a favourite and the other teams like evil. And I think psychologists have looked into this, kind of unlock some weird like tribal element. People want to be their teams better and it's like da -da 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 -da. and even though I like a drink and I like, you know, being rambunctious occasionally, I uh, can't properly get into that because it's proper childish and stupid. And also the way footballers fall over every five seconds, that does me add in as well. And you probably don't think it I've been ragging on sports for the last 20 minutes but there is actually some sports that I do like. I like boxing amazingly and here's a, a Frank Bruno cassette I brought called uh, Eye of the Tiger. It's a cover version of the Rocky song with uh, samples of uh, when he became heavyweight champion. And fun fact, just behind me at this gymnasium I saw Frank Bruno when he opened it and he was driving past in his car and he you know, like pointed at me and was like, all right lads. And um, I also like darts. I'm a good darts player as uh, my mate Stuart will attest to. And uh, I'm also the only person in the UK that generally likes NASCAR. There it is, but I find cars driving around at 200 miles an hour really rela relaxing for some reason. And that's actually true. Oh no, are you kidding me? This probably isn't that surprising to anybody who's watched one of these videos or knows me. But I probably prefer sports movies and documentaries more than actual sports themselves. And I've selected uh, a good approximation of what my top five favourite sports movies and documentaries are. Uh, this is uh, Silver Dream Racer, starring David Essex as a motorcycle driver. Didn't realise how much I liked this film until it was on uh, Talking Pictures about six months ago. And uh, I think I've got a vague memory of watching it as a kid. And it's got two different endings. One where he blows up at the end and one where he doesn't. And it's got a kick-ass song too, which I own on 7-inch vinyl. And this is probably a film that I've watched more than any other film. It's uh, Days of Thunder. Uh, it's about a, a racing car driver named Cole Trickle. And it's awesome. You can learn all of life's mysteries are solved in this movie. And uh, remember, Robin is racing. This is one of my favourite documentaries ever. It is uh, Ultimate X about extreme sports. It was made for IMAX cinemas. It's uh, only on for about 30 minutes. It's awesome. It's got loads of great parts in it and probably one of my favourite parts is where they show uh, some of the very first X Games where they did modified shovel racing. So process that. And I absolutely adore this documentary. It's uh, Champions Forever, about five world champion boxers. Uh, got some great stories. Uh, one of my favourite stories is when uh, George Foreman says he used to hate being school. My mother had given me the lunch. I'd eat my lunch, come back to sneak in the winter to go to sleep. I hated school. And my cousin told me when she called me, I tried to make an excuse like a guilty person do. She said, don't worry about it. You're nothing. You're never going to be nothing anyway. She said, go to sleep. She said, nobody from around here ever become anything but drunk. He proved that person wrong by becoming a boxer. <laughs> And it's one of the most enjoyable movies ever made. It's Rocky IV. A lot of people accuse this of uh, being 75% montages. But to me, that's a massive plus point.
Oh, is it just me or can you hear some music? Oh, we I mean, only one thing, unfortunately. It's Bell Hat the Oscars telling me it's time to go. So uh, until next time, until what day arrives, keep it locked. Thanks for watching The Legends of Cherry Hill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing.